I am very big on sustainability, on green. It's very, very close to my heart. We've been doing a lot of work at Hero, whether it's our plants, the garden factories, or all the, all the buildings that we now created are all platinum lead rated buildings. We've just taken on two days back a huge park just outside of Delhi to, uh, to look after the park for the next 10 years. And this is going to provide seven to 8% of the oxygen for the Delhi NCR region. Uh, we, as you know, are the largest producer of motorcycles and scooters around the globe now for 20 years. Being the leader, it is incumbent upon us to now lead the change into electric sustainable mobility. Our new vision also is be the future of mobility through our mission, which is create, collaborate and inspire. So we've just signed a partnership, a strategic partnership with Gogoro of Taiwan for two separate areas. One where we will bring in Gogoro's technology, Gogoro's kits to make our two wheelers make our products here with Gogoro power technology. The other one being, we are going to create a joint venture between Hero and Gogoro to set up Gogoro's swapping stations here in India. The battery is swappable. The customer, whenever requiring charge, just has to go to the, the swapping station, put in the battery, take out a fresh battery and just move on. So we plan to do this now very, very quickly and change the entire landscape, starting with India, and then we will go global. Okay, and we wish you the very best uh, with this uh, venture, sir. Uh, for any big corporate house in India, you would appreciate, uh, Mr. Munjal, that right now uh, the COVID-19 situation is a very, very sensitive matter. Uh, and so uh, I would want to get to that. Mandy and I have a few questions. Uh, you have uh, shut your facilities for four days is that enough or do you think you will have to review that decision and extend the lockdown of your facilities? Well, with the situation that we have currently over here, it, it's difficult to say what's going to happen after the four days. Look, across the country, many of our retail outlets, the dealerships are shut. We have inventories out there. We have inventories in the plants. If we are not able to sell at the dealerships, why keep on manufacturing? Why keep bringing people into the plants? So looking at the, the inventories, looking at the safety and security and the welfare of all our people, we've decided to take this four day shutdown for now. And after these four days, we will come back into work and then we will review the situation again. You would review the situation again. If there is a case where you may have to keep the facilities shut for a while longer because we don't know how strong uh, this wave is and how long it will last. I mean, it looks pretty severe for now. What kind of uh, production hit would that mean for, for your business for the first quarter of FI 2022? Um, well, I wouldn't talk of the, the first quarter itself. Right now, just the first month of the first quarter, uh, let me say that we are about 15% down from what we would plan and from the, well, the previous year was actually a washout. So 15% down from our current plans is where we are right now. So from a financial perspective, um, what do you think the minimum cost it might be to you? Uh, and also the fact, not just uh, not just the temporary shutdown of your plans, but also the fact you mentioned a moment ago, a moment ago that there are a number of dealerships that have also had to temporarily close, and naturally they won't be able to sell your products during that time. Um, again, uh, we'll have to take a call at the end of the month where we where we stand vis-a-vis -vis the retail sales, the wholesale sales from the company, and where we stand on our financials. But you know that Hero's financials are really, really healthy and our reserves are really, really healthy. So I'm not too very concerned on that front right now.